Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I'm doing here on my channel to create a drone right from the scratch for the aerial photography. In this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to install this Runcam Racer 3 camera onto your drone frame guys. I have already done the unboxing of this Runcam Racer 3 camera guys. So if you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. Also guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you how to wire this Runcam Racer 3 and how to put it onto your drone frame guys. As you know, this flight controller Matex is F765 supports dual camera guys so I'll be installing two cameras at the same time on this drone frame guys so ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share before we move further guys if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so guys, before we start with the installation of the camera onto your drone frame guys, I would like to put this camera onto this camera frame that came along with this guys. As you can see guys, there is no front and back. You can install the camera in any direction that you like as long as the side holes align with the side holes of this camera mount. So let's do that. So as you can see guys, you put it like this and the holes are now aligning. Now let's put in the screw that came along with this one so as to hold the camera onto its place so let's use the smaller screws onto the sides and using this screwdriver let's quickly tighten them up so guys this screw will hold the camera tight onto this camera frame guys let's put in the second one as well let's use the smaller screw so here you can see guys, my camera mount is properly installed on this camera frame guys. I will do the same for the second camera and then we'll come back. So as you can see guys, my both cameras are ready. Now I have installed the camera mount on both the cameras from the sides using the screws that came along with it. So now let's quickly see the jumper connection guys. So the jumper connection onto the back side here, you can see the pin diagram is 5 volt ground VBAT GTX and M rx so these are the pin diagram as i have shown you in my previous video guys as you can see here on the screen as well guys so using the jumper connection that came along with this one guys i am going to install the jumper wires onto these cameras so align the jumpers correctly and then push it gently onto the top so that you do not damage the pins that is there on this camera guys so that is how you need to install the jumper connections let's do that on both the camera guys so as you can see guys my camera is now ready with the jumper connections here to be soldered now guys let us quickly see the wires along with the color how do we need to connect this so red one is for your 5 volt to 36 volt that will be coming out from your flight controller black is the ground and yellow is the video output from the camera the blue one is to power it using the VBAT, which I am not going to do guys. So I will be having this wire as no connection wire. And then you have a brown wire for ground and TX and the green wire for RX and menu. So my RX will go to TX and TX will go to RX on my flight controller guys. So that is how I'm going to connect this camera onto my flight controller guys. But since I have two flight controllers and I don't want to use two UARTs to control these camera guys, I will be using a common TX and RX to control both the cameras at the same time. To do that guys, I will have a TX going to TX of this camera, RX going to RX of this camera and then I will be inverting these pins to RX and TX on my flight controller so that whichever camera is active guys, the menu control will work on that camera guys. So that is how I'm going to connect. Let's quickly solder the wires onto the flight controller guys. As you can see guys on my flight controller here I have six pins where I am going to connect my camera here you have C1 and C2 for camera 1 and camera 2 input for video and here you have 9 volt and 5 volt to power each of this camera and their respective grounds so let's quickly connect so the front facing camera guys that I'm going to use is going to be my default camera which is going to be C1 and then the camera which is going to be facing towards the bottom of the drone frame guys which is going to be attached permanently to the bottom so as to have an aerial view just from the bottom is going to have a c2 connection and then corresponding power supply and ground so that is how i'm going to connect so the first wire that i have here is for the aerial view of the camera that is coming from the bottom so let's connect the c2 5 volt and ground quickly so here I have red one for power supply, black for the ground and yellow for the camera. So yellow going to C2, 5 volt in ground. Let's quickly solder them. 
so the first one goes to c2 let's quickly do that so my c2 is connected now let's connect the power so power is connected as well so that is how we need to connect so all three wires are properly connected now now let's connect the second camera guys so that finishes the camera connection guys now i'm going to connect the tx and rx pin jointly onto tx8 and rx8 pin here so guys here you can see i have rx8 and tx8 here guys so i'm going to solder two wires one from each camera rx to tx and tx to rx of this pin pad let's quickly do that so my tx is the brown one so it is going to go to rx so both the brown wires together is going to go on to the rx8 pin so let's quickly do that So guys here you can see it is properly soldered let's do quickly the same thing for the green wires let's twist them together put some solder on it and then we will quickly solder it to the rx pin like this holding the tweezer so here guys i have soldered the tx and rx pin of the camera onto my flight controller guys now let's quickly align the cameras now guys using the second and third hole guys i am going to install the camera mount of the drone frame here as you can see there is a small hole and larger hole on to the bottom guys so that will help you to manage the angle and the tilt so you have to put a screw here and a bottom one align the first and the second one gets aligned automatically guys you need to put the screw directly here and then quickly tighten this up let's quickly do that it's going to be in the center let's tighten this up this is the front camera guys that i'm going to install don't tighten this up too much so that you have flexibility to move and using the second screw guys uh, which you can use a little longer one uh, to attach it here so that you have a flexibility to move so this pad is now installed i will install in the same with the second one but uh, just to you know guys how it works is on this pad guys it came with this bracket of uh, carbon fiber to install so you can push it like this so that it keeps the pad onto its place at the same time guys this is going to be installed on your drone frame guys here on these two holes that is there on the drone frame to hold this camera to its place let's do that on the both side guys and put this camera onto the front and the second camera guys is going to go at the back side as you can see for the bottom facing camera guys the second camera is there on the bottom using the diy guys i am going to put a, a bracket onto the side so as to hold this camera onto the bottom uh, so first install the front camera guys so here you can see guys i have installed the camera but i had to remove the camera mount guys because it was too thick for it to fit here onto my drone frame guys so i had to remove this and directly connect the camera guys using the screw here on my drone frame guys so you can see the front camera is now here on to the top side or front facing camera guys this is camera c1 which is going to be the default camera guys is installed on my drone frame guys now let's quickly close this frame and see how does it look like because the bottom camera is going to be installed from the bottom side guys now i want to close the top cover that came along with this one like this and let's quickly close this so that the camera mounts here stays at its place and this camera does not move so guys i have put the top cover guys let's quickly put the screws so that it holds like this here so my top drone frame holds guys so this is how you install the front side camera guys 
So here you can see I have installed the front side camera here and the second camera wire is going from the bottom all the way to the back and this camera is hanging here. So I'm going to install the camera like this. I'm going to put a metal plate that is going to get onto this screw and then using the three screws on the side I'm going to hold this metal plate onto the side and then install this camera like this on the bottom guys. So guys here you can see I have removed four screws from the back and then I'm going to use this metal DIY that I have done from the can and I have cut it into a shape so that you have side three holes here and side three holes here to attach this camera and then there are four holes two in the front and two in the back so as to be able to attach that frame on here on my drone frame guys so that is how I'm going to install this bottom facing camera onto my drone frame let me quickly do that and come back so guys here you can see I have put three screws on each side so as to hold the camera onto this plate. Now in, let's install the plate onto this place guys by putting in back the screws. So first let's put the back side screws so that the plate holds. So the longer ones. So I'm going to put it here like this. Like this so that it holds. And the second one as well here, all the way down and tight. And now put in the front side guys here. First we need to put this one onto the top, just like before. And then let's put down the screws. So I know guys this is not the ideal way to install a camera you can have a 3D printed part so as to be able to hold this camera to its place guys but then I find this method cheapest and it was a quick and you might have a empty cans in your house from coke or any other beverage that you use and you can quickly cut and make this holder like this so as to be able to hold this camera onto its place and since being the metal guys it is going to be more stronger and made out of aluminium guys so it will not add that weight to your drone frame guys so this finishes the installation of the camera guys here onto the back and also guys we have installed the camera onto the front now i have got dual camera onto my drone frame guys so in my future videos guys i'm going to tell you how to set this up in your flight controller and your firmware in beta flight and inap so ensure that guys you watch my future videos so that you understand how to install dual camera onto your drone frame guys so this is it guys this concludes this video i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies